My name is Ward Shell. I'm a visual artist from Moose Jaw. I paint acrylic on canvas generally, but I also love to draw. And I'm represented by the Slate Gallery in Regina. I work in acrylics, acrylic on canvas. Uh, what I love about acrylics, it was, it was a hard thing to get used to because we start, I started off in oils and it has that beautiful luxury of uh, that nice paste, a beautiful buttery sort of quality to it. And acrylics doesn't have that. Uh, not quite the same anyway. You can put things into it to make it work better. But what I like about acrylics is that I can, I can thin it out, um, layer it transparencies over transparencies to achieve a color that I can't even really predict what's going to happen. And it dries quickly, so I can keep layering and layering and layering fairly quickly on it. I don't use a lot of white in my paint, so I sort of plan my road and see how it works. Almost like watercolor, I work light to dark in some cases, and not all the time. It really depends on what the, the image, how it speaks and how I want to attack it. It's not always the same. The last few years I've been doing a lot of forest interiors. Uh, I had a big show, solo show a few years ago in Moose Jaw, and it was um, all dedicated to Fairy Island, uh, which is where this painting's from, uh, which is where Ernest Lindner had his, his uh, studio and cabin for many years. And I was teaching up at Emma Lake um, for several summers in a row, and took my students there. I'd always heard about Fairy Island, and of course, Ernest Lindner was a huge influence um, in the early days, but I'd never been there before. So when I went to the Fairy Island with my students, it, it cast its spell, and I needed to do something. It was one of those things where you, I didn't know if I should or could, because out of respect for somebody else who had spent their whole career there and done their whole body of work there. Someone told me it was the 75th year anniversary of Ernest building his cabin. I thought, well, that's an excuse to do an homage to him. So I started back into forest interior and have been doing that. There's just so much work I need, I want to do, I want to complete, and a lot of it involves it. It's not all there. I, I go to BC to see my family and then I wander around the woods and the mountains there too for influence. But I'm just as happy doing prairie landscapes that have no horizon line, <laughs> which is odd for the prairies. I focus down on the ground uh, and find the textures and the shapes and the colors down there are mesmerizing and fascinating. And that's what I continue to, to look for. For the last 30 some years, uh, I focus quite clearly on, on real close-ups of landscape um, without looking at the horizon. Although you do see a little bit of a horizon on this painting, it's very rare that I, I put that in. As a matter of fact, I debated whether I should do this painting at all because of that. But I just love the way it, the, the oddness of, of the land. There was always a, a disgust divide between Saskatoon and Regina in two schools. The, the abstract school of Saskatoon um, and Regina was quite different, different faculty and different uh, perspective of work. Um, and that, I didn't really understand it. I, I always thought the art world was the art world and we're all family, but there was this divide. And, and it, it's, you know, this weird dichotomy in most places have rivalries with sports things. There just seemed to be something there. And, uh, all, we all knew each other, knew the names, you know, it's respect from top to bottom, but we hardly got together. I mean, it's very rare that we all got together in one place. Now our work is in the same building together, and um, it, it was like a family reunion with a family you didn't, you know, we hadn't really spent a lot of time with. It was a great atmosphere in here um, because of that, and uh, it kind of lifts the barriers.